Now it's given the time of the year now, coming towards Easter, and um, quite topical now too with the vinegar, the match of the day is um, fairly topical. Uh, this is a, a, a poem uh, called Match of the Day, and it's about St. Just play in Port Levin on Easter Monday. Now listen to the tale I tell, take heed you sportsmen all. The story here is one for you who love to kick the ball. Twas Easter Monday, the finals match, the prize of silver cup. Port Levin lads against St. Just were eagerly lined up. 2,000 came to see the game, a cheering, roaring crowd. The fishermen and miners found, <coughs> shouting long and loud. Twas no score as half time came, though skillful and robust, St. Just could not defeat Port Levin, nor yet Port Levin St. Just. The second half was just the same, a, toss, a tussle as before. The ball rolled up and down the pitch would be a draw for sure. The match was drawing to a close, but in the final minute, a keen St. Justman found the net and crashed, the ball was in it. Offside, offside, said Porth, and many surely was offside. I'll play the game, Brett. Where's your glasses? I'll play the game, they cried. But the ref, the final whistle blew, and glad that time was up, since just the winners won to nil, then carried off the cup. Now, strange to say, the man that kicked the ball into the net believed himself to be offside, and soon began to fret. The fretting to a torment grew, vexing his very soul. His conscience made him take the blame for that disputed goal. He worried himself to sick and sore until he shortly died, convinced that he unfairly had beaten the rival side. And even when at last he reached the pearly gates of heaven, downcast he looked and full of shame and pity for Port Levin. A senior, mind you, a senior angel who spotted him, sort of a senior, <laughs> approached in shining white and asked the reason for his gloom and listened to his plight. Oh, oh, oh no, said the angel, dear me. We saw the match from heaven last Easter Monday. Yes, I know, so just against Port Levin. You certainly were not offside. I well remember you. That goal you scored was fair enough. We had a grandstand view. Now cheer up, lad, and cast away your worry and your fear. It was a goal. The ref was right. It was absolutely clear. He chatted on. Now that there goal boy, God, that was handsome, your city. You did a grand job. Bless my soul and bless the referee. Well, thank you, sir. I will cheer up, he said. I must. Thank you, St. Peter. Or St. Paul. Oh, no, pardon, he said. I am St. Just. 